We want to swing around for a second and get an update with, uh, are you the captain still, John? Or? Assistant captain. Assistant I want, captain. I want captaincy for next year. Okay. Yeah, I wanted Chris. Chris is a great captain. Chris Thomas is our head captain. So we're going to swing around here and do a quick update. Uh, John, it looks like you guys will be playing JMU the next round. Tell me a little bit about what we were just talking about, that mutual respect that you guys have developed for JMU. Yeah, so uh, JMU Maryland and ourselves, we all started the league in the same year. Um, and, you know, they, like, slaughtered us the first time we played. I want to say it was, like, 9 or 10 to nothing. Yeah. Um, but over the years, you know, like, we've grown with them. We've played with them so many times, and we've actually become really good friends. But I can't stress this enough. We really did not like each other to start, but the mutual friendship kind of grew. And regardless if we win or lose, it's going to be just a pleasure to either go out or take out JMU because they are dear friends, and they were cheering us on. Like, it, it, I mean, all of our players were talking about it, just motivating when we were uh, playing Ohio State. So we want, definitely wanted to return the favor here. Update for you. BGSU did just take a point from Michigan, Michigan State, State. So Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to hear that. I uh, we I broadcast one of Bowling Green's games uh, yesterday, and they got some arms, man. They really do. And you know, anytime you can take a point from a Michigan team, like like we did yesterday with Michigan State and Central, it makes all the difference. And just we could not be more excited, regardless if we get slaughtered or win. Like we would could not be more excited to play JMU. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun match. It's gonna be you guys, you said your guys really do think they have a chance in that last game against Ohio State. Yes. Not a lot of people in this building had you guys winning that game, but. Yeah. You kind of have nothing to lose at this point. Yeah, so like I was just saying, we have absolutely nothing to lose. We already got Joe Tobin, like I said in the earlier when I was interviewed earlier. He's our first four-year graduate, and we've never been out of the round of 16 before. And we were just all like pumping up like this morning and last night, being like, we just got to get this win for Joe. And like I said, everything extra is gravy. But I'm telling you, we have been playing the best dodgeball we have like ever. Like this Nationals, all three games we played were fantastic. And I'm telling you, we're giving ourselves a good chance. Not a good chance, but a chance against Jamie because we know what we're up against. We know how good they are. But with how we've been playing, man, anything's possible. Right? Anything is possible. We have a question, though. We noticed you guys were wearing the yellow jerseys huh? with the black today. Is that just so you guys had clean jerseys to play in this morning? It's just 100% exactly <laughs> that. So you're not um, it out? You know what, we were actually thinking about going back to yellow today because of how well we played yesterday. And then I got to my room and I smelt my jersey. And I'm just like... You realize that answered the question I'm for you. It's like, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. And like I said, it's, even, it's, never, it's never the jersey. <laughs> it's never the jersey. Yeah. But um, no, we, just, we have two jerseys. We just wanted to go with black today. So, All right. yeah, man. Well, good deal. Thanks, John. Best of luck to you guys. Appreciate that, Next John. round, Thanks, and congratulations again on that, on that win. Appreciate that, brother. Was yeah. Nick sitting in a chair? Yes, uh, but as long as his foot was in, he was still technically in bounds. So, yes, he was sitting in a chair while playing and was in bounds, and it was legal for now. Got to say, I've always wanted to sit in a chair on a dodgeball court while the game is going on, so tip of the cap to well, Nick. Well, he's trying to sneak. He's trying to do a ninja throw. Those don't happen very much anymore. They were very common back when we were playing, but the, the fact that nobody on the court misses people anymore, you know what I mean? Like, they don't lose track of a player with a ball like they used to. It is much harder to be a sideline assassin uh, in this day and age of the NCDA. Uh, about nine minutes left here in this second half. Kind of feels like this game is starting to devolve into a little bit of the shenanigans we've seen on some of the other courts. There he is again. He's got his foot inbounds. I'm zooming in. He's still technically in. Yes, he is. You just have to have one point of contact in on uh, the court. So you got to be careful when you're walking down the sidelines if you have but one like, foot in. Like, no, he's safe. You, you did not get him. Yes. Good old Nick. Yeah. Good old, Nick. Good old tricky Nick. Might possibly have been suffering some concussion effects <laughs> after, all the, head, yeah, after yeah. all the head trauma he endured yesterday. But, uh, no, I think he's just having a little bit of fun here. He knows this game is well in hand for the Dukes. So I think we're going to see a lot of fun play uh, during this final uh, eight minutes and 20 seconds here of the second half. You know what's nice is even though they're losing, you can see people on WKU's team smiling because they know they're having a good time with this game. And it's, it's, it's over for them. Their season's done. But, hey, we're going to have fun this last point no matter what. And I would like to point out, I think, I think and we got it on camera, uh, Nick Johnson just got headshotted again, sitting in his chair on the sidelines. So did he really? I don't know if we did. I'm yeah. sorry. If if you all if you all saw that comment, because we were looking at each other when that happened. But 
Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he got headshotted. It sounded like it at least. That's, that's, that's him sitting down. His foot is no longer in, so he is out. But He got hit. I know that, and I think it was a headshot. Poor Nick has just been beat up. Planned a great national tournament. I think a lot of people would agree this has run about as smoothly as you could hope for a tournament with 16 teams from across the country coming in. So props to Nick. Fantastic tournament. And uh, we're just sorry he had to kind of get beat up yesterday. It was like, hey, thanks for planning a great tournament. Headshot, hit your, hit your head on the ground and get hit in the nuts. One of those games. So, Nick, just really being taken behind the woodshed, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's the nature of the game. You, know, you, you, the game, you yeah. play this game, you got to be ready for that kind of thing. So a quick update. Um, I had a question from Dylan Fedick of GVSU if we would be introducing more cameras. And... I think what we might do for the next round is if I can't snag a, um, another player to commentate another game with me, we will try to introduce at the very least for the championship game. We will try to have this camera right here, which is Alex Heichelbeck's iPad, as well as my cell phone to give you two different camera angles, maybe one up high and then one down on the court. So to give you complete coverage of the championship game, we'll try to roll that out maybe in these other rounds, but definitely for the championship game, we will have a multi-camera set up for you all. We thank you all for tuning in. We're having a lot of fun bringing you these live streams throughout the day. Big Bird, the man himself. How, How are, are you, you, sir? I'm pretty good. How are you guys doing? Very good. We're getting a lot of love from your parents on the live stream. So. I'm surprised they know how to work it, which is <laughs> that's surprising. So throw and shade at his parents for their technological <laughs> ineptitude. But. Look, look, at, look at that comment. Red line boundary foot winner. What does that even mean? I don't know. Oh, very good. That is very good, Debbie. It took us a second, but very smart there. Uh, Big Bird, we wanted to get your thoughts, uh, this being your last game uh, for WKU. Talk a little bit about your career and uh, what it's meant to be a Hilltopper. Um, the biggest, I mean, I had a lot of fun. Uh, great group of guys. The people we were with was always good. Uh, I went out with a suicide kill. There you go. So. What better I'm, way to go out? Right, yeah, I'm good with that. I was like, I'm done. Um, but, yeah, it's been a good five years, which is a little atypical, but I couldn't get away. That's what it was. Well, Felix played six, right, so in your true. defense. That's true. Grad that's true. Grad, he went to grad school. That's not. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, good, good five years. I'm going to miss it, but uh, they seem to be going in the right direction, I think, recruiting-wise. So. And you kind of like ending uh, your career on your home turf yeah, at yeah. Nationals. That's, that's big. I didn't have to drive 12 hours after my last game in the back of a two-door sedan so congratulations on a yep. great career and uh congrats on ending it here on the home court yep. and uh as your mom said uh, your next game will be in the alumni game yes it will for the alumni so we look forward to that and uh looks like we're gonna play out this remaining 6-12 so uh feel free to stick up here on with, with us on the track I if will. you like we'll just be hanging out commentating these last uh couple points so we'll be back with the final point